Okay, we're at the sewing station now, and we're going to attach the front sleeve to the front bodice armhole. So we're going to place it evenly under the needle at five eighths of an inch. There should be an indicator on your sewing machine. So we're going to take our time because we're going to sew around this curve right here. Let's get started. Front stitch, back stitch, So you are not forcing the fabric under the needle. We're just gliding. Make sure you take out your pins. So we don't want to cause any trouble with our sewing machine. So you make sure everything is neat and it's flat. There's no puckering. This little bit of unevenness is okay. Don't even worry about that. Just move your fabric to the side. Make sure it's, everything is even and it's nice and it's flat no curves and bumpiness in the fabric. You want this to be nice and straight. nice and flat. If you have to use your finger to iron down those bumpy areas, you can do so. Okay, so now what we're going to do is We're gonna do another step. Okay. Now, we don't wanna leave it like this, right? Looks a little um, tacky or unprofessional. So if you have a serger machine, to serge away this area here. But you have to be careful when you're serging because you don't want to cut off this stitch. And if you do cut off this stitch, you have to go back and stitch it with the straight needle or the zigzag stitch. Because once you open it with the serger, you're gonna see the little threads in between here, not as tight as it would be. It was stitched with a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. That's only for when you're using a serger machine to do that, okay? So the step that we're going to take now is, this is for those who do not have a serger. Do not use pinking shears, please, because it's gonna make it look, um, we want a polished look. We want it to look very professional from the beginning to the end. So we don't wanna use pinking shears. You can use pinking shears if you desire to, but I'm gonna show you an advanced step, which I think we all can do, because it's very simple. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to fold this area here. We're gonna just fold this 
seam onto itself and we're going to create a stitch going down. So let me show you what I mean. This is how we take care of those raw edges. So we take our time because it's very narrow in this area. But the finishing results are beautiful. It's an extra tedious step, but it's all worth it at the end. Believe me when I tell you. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with this front bodice and you can do the same with the back bodice as well. You can attach it the same way as the front bodice and you can clean up the edges the same way. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up. Oh, see how it's looking? And you just cut away. You cut away with the scissors this unwanted um, scraggly um, piece of fabric with a fine um, scissor. You just cut away this area here. So you just take your time and you cut it because you don't want to cut into this new seam, okay? So let's just take a closer look how it, what it looks like. See how neat? It's very neat. Very neat, very clean. Okay, so you, I'm gonna do the same thing off camera to the opposite side. So you finish up with your front bodice, attaching the sleeves to the armhole of the front bodice, and you do the same thing with the back bodice, and you clean up the edges of your armhole seam, okay? So the next stage is, or the next step, I'll meet you all at the sewing, excuse me, the pressing station.